Look at you, so prim and proper on the surface. Who would ever suspect the hellcat that lurks within? I have to admit that you've surprised me, Elizabeth. I seem to have underestimated you. Are you having any pain? Of course, that insipid Emily clone has only herself to blame for Nicholas's wandering eye. <laughs> ah, she played him abominably from the start. And she didn't count on you waiting in the background, ready to console Nicholas with with sex at the first opportunity. You know, I am so glad to see having a mysterious, life-threatening illness hasn't mellowed you one bit. Helena, you can think what you want, you can say what you want. Nobody's going to believe your insane rantings. Except that I'm telling the truth, and we both know it. You know, you remind me so much of Laura. Laura? A craven manipulator posing as a paragon of virtue, leaving emotional destruction in her path. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, I watched her. I watched her drive my sons to distraction, pitting brother against brother just to win her faithless heart. Laura toyed with Stefan and Stavros the same way you are toying with Nicholas and Lucky. Oh, Lucky, the poor fool, eyes shimmering with loyalty and trust. Can you imagine the devastation when Lucky learns that he is being doubly betrayed? His one true love sleeping with his brother might be enough to send him reeling back into addiction hell. Shut your mouth, or I will shut it for you. What did I say? Looks like I got here just in time. <laughs> Luke, join us. No, you might find our conversation both fascinating and illuminating. Is Lucretia Borgia spitting a poison at you, Elizabeth? No, I'm fine. Elizabeth and I were just discussing the illusion of morality. Now, a pretense that you and I would not waste time on. Very esoteric. No, it's really quite simple. Say that there is one man that I want to marry for reasons that are, well, somewhat, yes, esoteric. But there is a catch. You see, there's someone else that I really want in my bed. So you see, moral dilemma. Something that Elizabeth, I'm sure, knows a bit about. You know, Helena, I know that you don't grace many hospital beds with your acerbic wit. So here is a little tip. It's not wise to piss off the medical personnel standing by your bed with scalpels handy and needles and radioactive isotopes that could be injected into your IV line? Oh, Elizabeth and I are old adversaries. Well, sparring is our means of communication, right, dear? Leave her alone. Spar with me. That's what I'm here for. Do your worst. <laughs> so gallant and so protective. Uh, you might not be so quick to jump to Elizabeth's defense if you knew what I know. Are you finished here, Nurse Weber, medically speaking? Yes. What's the verdict? There's no change in her vitals. Well, then I'm sure you have other patients to take care of. If you don't mind, this one and I have a few things to discuss. Well, what's wrong, dear? Hesitant to leave me alone with Luke in fear of what I might reveal? Nothing you say can hurt me. Can you see it? Well, the halo is a tad crooked and slightly tarnished. Oh, stop it. <sighs> Go ahead, Elizabeth. I'll take it from here. You know, I'm starting to think that saving your life was a gross mistake. What? You would kill me for the high crime of telling the truth about that mealy-mouthed little betrayer? Elizabeth Weber Spencer, whatever she calls herself, is a far cry from the angel she purports to be. 
well, you may not be interested in what Elizabeth has done, but I guarantee you, Lucky will be. Rebecca, have you seen Nicholas? Uh, earlier, yeah. Apparently there's some tension between him and Lucky about Helena. Yeah, well, Nicholas should listen to Lucky. Helena is evil and he should have never brought her here. Well, he's in a difficult position, Elizabeth. I would think you of all people would understand that. But no matter how awful she is, she's still his grandmother, right? And now she's sick, apparently terrified of this mysterious relative. You don't know who's... what you're talking about. You have no idea the type of damage Helena can inflict. And you better pray you never find out. But I'm warning you. If I find out that this is a setup. I have to go. A summons from Elizabeth? I could think of her, but what have they seen? Nicholas, Helena knows everything. What do you mean? She accused me of sleeping with you. Well, she couldn't possibly know that. Yeah, she, well, she does, and she's gonna tell Lucky. <sighs> Nurse said you wanted to see me. Well, I was hoping we could converse in a more civilized manner than we've managed so far. Just so you know where I stand. I'm not gonna stop until I convince Nicholas to send you packing. It's really quite touching, the faith that you place in your brother, when all the people you love. How would it feel to know that all of that precious trust had been betrayed? <laughs> 